Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I am Mel, and I cook for my family on this channel. I'm a working mom, but I also love good food. So my goal is to cook meals with limited time. And if that's something you're into, please subscribe. This week, I am cooking freezer meals. So I'll prepare the main parts and have them ready to go to make the weeknight cooking easier. Since I was gonna be using garlic in pretty much all of these recipes, I bought the pre-peeled garlic just because I hate peeling garlic. It is not fun. <laughs> and I knew I'd need a lot. So I, I bought that and I chopped it up. And then I had gotten this um, kind of fajita steak for, it was marked down because it needed to be used up, but I knew I was going to throw it in the freezer. So I chopped that up, added my salt, pre-salted my meat. Important to always pre-salt your meat for flavor. And then I continued to add the other ingredients, an onion, I think half a chopped onion, some mushrooms, garlic, of course, several teaspoons, and some beef broth. Mix that all up and you have got, oh, just kidding, D Dijon mustard too. And a few other seasonings I forgot about. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were done. Oh, some thyme as well. And a little paprika. A little red wine vinegar to give it a little bit of acidity. And then we can mix it all up and throw it in the freezer. Stay tuned at the end and I'll show you how I cooked these up. Okay, my friends, this Greek chicken was amazing. It was so delicious. So I threw in some chicken tenders, salted those. And then I added my remaining ingredients, which were some extra virgin olive oil, freshly squeezed lemon, garlic and fresh thyme for this one. I also had gotten some Italian parsley leaves and I put those in even though the recipe didn't call for it but I thought they were a good addition. Some more Dijon mustard and some more red wine vinegar. So a lot of similar ingredients in these recipes which makes meal prepping way easier. Mix that all together, throw it in the freezer for when you're ready to cook it. Um, I just pulled mine out like 30 minutes before I wanted to cook it and set it on the counter to defrost. And then I was able to fry up those chicken uh, tenders. And I, I have a video actually of making this at the end, or not a separate video, but at the end of this video, there's um, some footage of me making this. Okay, for the jalapeno peach chicken, I cut up into chunks some chicken thighs, some boneless chicken thighs, skinless chicken thighs, added some olive oil, salt, chili powder, and I'm really bad about measuring things. I just kind of add eyeball <laughs> pepper. And then I mix that up, coated the chicken well. Then I added my remaining ingredients. So I sliced a jalapeno and then added some peach jam, maybe half a cup, some soy sauce, and some apple cider vinegar. 
garlic and more Dijon mustard and a little bit of red pepper flakes some sweet onion and then I had frozen peaches already in the freezer so instead of cutting up the one I bought I threw that in so I could just refreeze it and I'll use the, the peach I have for when I cook this meal the fresh peach for cooking it mix that all around let the air out of the bag throw this one in the freezer I'm really excited to try this one. I did not have time to make it this week, but I probably will soon. Again, for this one, I used chicken thighs and cut them in smaller chunks. Now I modified the recipe quite a bit for this because I wanted to turn it into a freezer meal. Um, so I didn't coat and fry the pieces like it says. I just salted them, pe put pepper and some oil. And this one actually calls for a lot of garlic because it is garlic based for its flavor. And then some honey. A little bit of rice wine vinegar, some soy sauce, and some chicken broth. A little bit of red pepper flakes as well. Then I mixed that all up and got it ready for the freezer as well. Now I um, didn't have time to make this one this week either, but I do plan on frying it up and serving it with rice when I do. I'm very excited to try it. Now for this recipe, you could do it two ways. I put it in the crock pot or the slow cooker. Um, but I also would have wanted to try it roasted in the oven, but I threw in some pork loin, tenderloins, you can also use a pork loin, season it up similar to the others, a little onion powder, some ginger, and then I tried to kind of coat the tenderloins with those seasonings. And once those were coated, I added the remainder. Now the recipe called for canned pineapple, but I really felt like I wanted to try fresh. So I made fresh, or I cut up a pineapple and I added the fresh pineapple, a little bit of soy sauce, and some more sweet onion and garlic. You can leave the garlic out if you want, but you know I had a lot of it, so I was adding it to everything. And some water or pineapple juice and some cornstarch to kind of thicken the sauce as it cooks. So you can even maybe roast this on top of the stove as well. It'd be interesting to try different things once you pull it out and defrost it. And we did have this one, and I show um, how I did it um, later in the video. So this week I only used three of the freezer meals. It was Halloween, so we ate um, elsewhere for one, for that night. And then also I worked really late one night, so my husband cooked. But this is the first meal that I made this week. And I just added my defrosted stroganoff pack to the pan and added more liquid. You could use broth or uh, water. Threw in my noodles and let that cook. Well, first I cooked up the meat, then I threw in my noodles. Let that cook up until the noodles were soft. Then I added my sour cream and a little bit of cream cheese. And that was that. It was pretty simple and pretty tasty. For this one, I decided to throw it in the slow cooker in the morning so that it would just be ready for when I got home from work. Sometimes I'm just so tired, I don't want to do anything. So I just want to have a quick and easy meal. 
So I set that, I delayed, started it, and then I set it on low for six hours. So two hours delay, and then it, it cooked for six hours and then stayed warm till I got home. So I pulled it out, cut it up, shredded it up, and then I, while I was doing that, I cooked rice and we ate it with some rice. And I had a little bit of fresh pineapple that I put with, or that I had left over. So I, I added that to the rice and the, the meat, which gave it a little bit of sweetness that I wanted. And I did add a little bit of lemon juice just to give it a little acidity as well, a little more salt too. But you taste it, you decide if it needs more of something, less of something. I guess you can't really do any less of something, but if it needs more of something, you can add it after the fact as well. So like I said, we ate that with rice and it was pretty, pretty simple meal, but very, very delicious. Out of the three meals I did cook, this was by far my favorite so far. Like I said before, I just took the frozen chicken out and put it on the counter for 30 minutes before I started cooking. I fried up the tender chicken tenders until they were just golden brown on each side, so maybe three or four minutes each or less, however your pan works for you, I guess. And then I removed them and I had made up a Greek salad and I just wanted to make some tzatziki to go with it. So after I removed the chicken from the pan, I made up that tzatziki. So with some Greek yogurt, I, I used whole fat and then I had taken a cucumber and shredded it and salted it and then squeezed out as much juice as I could. And then I had this parsley and um, garlic left over from when I was doing my meal prep. So I just thought, why not use it up? It called for garlic anyway. Parsley couldn't hurt. So I did, and I thought it turned out pretty good. The recipe, I think, called for dill, but I just put the parsley in instead. A little white vinegar and some olive oil. And there you have some delicious tzatziki. And then I served this up on, oh, a little salt too, I guess. And you can taste it kind of since how salty you want it. So I served it up with a little bit of um, fried up pita and the Greek salad. And it was so, so good. I had it for lunch the next day too. It was just so delicious. So anyway, I hope these recipes help you and your family to be able to cook more at home. And I hope to see you guys here next week. Bye.